And after the 26th, the city is at now at an amenity, vanished forever. And during the, a test at 1.21 a.m., the number four reactor exploded and released 30 to 40 times the radioactive of the atomic bombs dropped in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. No one can predict what will finally be the exact number of human victims. Hundreds of thousands of Ukrainians, Belarusians, and Russians had to abandon the entire cities and settlements in the 30 mile kilometer zone of extreme contamination. Some 3 million people are still living in contaminated areas. And the work that Fiona and her volunteers do to help these people is unbelievable and keep it up for so long. I think it's great credit to them and I wish them well in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Deputy Lord Mayor. And on the 26th of April 1986, at 1.23am, the world's worst nuclear disaster took place at the Chernobyl nuclear power station in northern Ukraine. The people of Chernobyl were exposed to radiation 90 times greater than that of the Hiroshima bomb. We remember those who have died as a result of the world's worst nuclear catastrophe. The innocent victims shall always be remembered by their friends here in Ireland. I salute you, our supporters, and without you, our work cannot be achieved. Today, we mark the 31st anniversary of the Chernobyl disaster. This was a human tragedy on an imaginable scale. The aftermath of this, the world's worst nuclear disaster, have left thousands of people suffering from terminal or chronic illnesses. The children with cancers and debilitating illnesses, they must be turned every 15 minutes in excruciating pain. The children with cancers and debilitating illnesses must be turned, excuse me, every minute, right? This, the parents suffer from the radiation diseases. The elderly have no option but to eat the mushrooms and burn firewood from the forests that are so radioactive. In fact, soil samples from those forests are treated as radioactive waste in Western Europe. The president of the Australian Medical Association for the Prevention of War, Professor Tillman Ruff, has estimated that 8,930 excess cancer deaths in the three more affected countries of Ukraine, Russia and Belarus. Four and a half to six and a half cancer deaths in the liquidations for whom risk estimates have not yet been made. And then, five to 6,000 estimated excess heart-related deaths in all of the liquidators. Almost 11,000 excess cancer deaths outside of three worst affected. An additional 20% of cancer deaths in future generations. This yields an estimate of almost 40,000 deaths. It does not include the deaths from suicide, from alcohol, and from drug abuse. Genetic effects or other causes all of which are significantly increased in the most severely contaminated zones and among evacuees. And it does not include the suffering of those who have not got a failing illness but have to live in fear that they will die prematurely because of their exposure to radiation. The biggest health problems so far have not been the fatal illnesses but the mental health problems among evacuees and liquidators. Chernobyl pulled communities apart, it uprooted families and it left them without work or their homes. A similar disaster must never ever be allowed to happen again. The international community has failed, has failed the victims of Chernobyl. Not only by downplaying the extent of the human impact, but also by advocating their responsibility for them and failing to collaborate to take them out of the Chernobyl shadow and give them a better life what remains in it. Chernobyl is a word we would all like to erase from our memory. It opened a Pandora's box of invisible enemies and nameless anxieties in people's minds, but which of most of us probably think of as safely relegated to the past. Yet there are two compelling reasons why this tragedy must never and never be forgotten. First, if we forget Chernobyl, we increase the risk of much such technological and environmental disasters in the future. Second, more than seven million of our fellow human beings do not have the luxury of forgetting. They are still suffering every day as a result of what happened 27 years ago. And indeed, 
The legacy of Chernobyl will be with us and our descendants for generations to come. We must now ensure that no more Chernobyls ever take place. The only way we can do this is to ensure that nuclear power has no future while investing in renewable alternatives. Those who speak about the benefits of nuclear power should look deeply into the eyes and the souls of the innocent victims, generations of alienated and forgotten people. But whatever the obstacles we encounter along the way, we are certain of one thing, Chernobyl and the plight of its six people cannot be forgiven. The legacy of our Chernobyl will be with us and our descendants for come. Our sadness at the memory of the past thus goes hand in hand with our hope for the future. The international community is staying side by side with the people of Chernobyl. More than seven million of our fellow human beings do not have the luxury of forgiven. They are still suffering every single day a result of what happened 31 years ago. And indeed, the legacy of Chernobyl be with us for time to come. So without substantial outside help, what hope can there be for a generation of alienated and abandoned children and adults? Thank you. Now I would like to call on His Excellency Maxim Pashkov, Russian Ambassador to Ireland. Thank you. Uh, dear Fiona, uh, esteemed Vice Lord Mayor of uh, Cork, uh, it's a great pleasure for me to take part in this ceremony. Uh, I must say it's the fifth uh, time I'm here in Cork in these days. Uh, I must say that this uh, Chernobyl uh, disaster shows us a very bitter experience and uh, bitter lesson. Uh, how to uh, deal with this uh, uh, power, I mean nuclear power. Uh, from my point of view, uh, this kind of uh, power has two faces. One uh, face is uh, ugly, uh, shows Chernobyl disaster, shows Fukushima uh, disaster. Another face, uh, I would rather say it's a uh, green energy. And my hope is that the first ugly phase will be closed forever. Uh, what is necessary uh, for this thing? To be more attentive, to learn from uh, these gloomy and bitter lessons how to deal with this uh, demon uh, which could be controlled or could not be controlled. As for control, uh, as soon as we know, the uh, Chernobyl disaster was a uh, result of a human mistake. As for uh, Fukushima, it was a strike of nature. Anyhow, uh, we must be too attentive, too cautious, working with this uh, highest power uh, which we uh, see in nuclear. Uh, I must stress our great uh, gratitude uh, to Ireland, to Fiona, for uh, what you've made, what you've did, uh, for the, especially for the children of our three countries, for your help, for your assistance. Uh, I know that uh, for more than uh, 30 years you are uh, working, you were uh, striking uh, by this disaster and uh, you began your help. Uh, I know that groups of uh, children who were uh, under the strike of this uh, radiation cloud uh, that came from Ch uh, Chernobyl and spread all over our three countries, even uh, part of Europe. Uh, they were guests of uh, Ireland, they were guests of Cork, and uh, unfortunately some of them uh, passed away. But anyhow, uh, our gratitude uh, will be forever. Uh, our gratitude for your hearts, for your uh, kind hands, for your help and assistance. And uh, we know that now, uh, especially the uh, organization uh, led by Fiona, I mean the uh, Greater Chernobyl 
uh, course uh, are working on, well, everyday basis in our country, in Ukraine, uh, in Belarus, uh, to help uh, those people who uh, were under the strike of this uh, uh, disaster. We are grateful and our gratitude will be forever. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Ambassador. I'd now like to call on Mrs. Olene Shalabut Sharish Affairs, Ukrainian Embassy in Dublin. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Embassy of Ukraine and the Ukrainian community in Ireland, I would like to thank Ms. Fiona Paul and uh, also the City Council for organizing this commemoration event. 31 years ago, the Chernobyl accident hit Ukraine, affecting many countries of European part of the continent. And first of all, Ukraine, Belarus, and Russia. This global tragedy has been defined as the greatest nuclear catastrophe jointly victims to visit sites of Chernobyl nuclear power plants. And we also gather media to honor those who were the first to take up challenge of Chernobyl accident at the price of their own lives. Many of them died. Many became of the accident have provoked many diseases such as cancer, immune system malfunctions and many, many others. As a result, in certain parts of Ukraine, mortality rates jump up by as much as 40% and many families should simply wear a price to born to have people or sorry children. And each noble disaster has resulted in at least tens of thousands of children not being born. Today, at the time when we still need immense resources to tackle repercussions of the Chernobyl accident, as well as funding for social support for all victims, Ukraine has to spend big expenses on security and defense of military aggression stemming from Russia. But we are not standing alone and facing our problems. Ukraine has a great support from its partners and international community. As a result of joint efforts on the 29th of November last year, in the history of nuclear security, a significant, significant event took place. A huge structure known among experts as the new safe confinement covered the old Chernobyl sarcophagus to protect the fourth travel reactor for the next hundred years. Just imagine, this structure is taller than the Statue of Liberty and larger than Wembley Stadium. More than 10,000 people were involved in this project. And its, its appearance has become a symbol of what can achieve people when stakes are highest. More than 40 countries, the European Union, the European Bank of Reconstruction and Development, and international organizations donated into this project. Among them was Ireland. And I would like to take this opportunity to extend heartfelt gratitude for such support. Uh, along with it, we highly appreciate uh, the contribution uh, that Ireland's civil and non-governmental 
environmental organizations, particularly the great Chernobyls, continue to render to the people of the affected areas of Ukraine. Dear colleagues, you have devoted yourself to good vision, overcoming, uh, overcoming the, the consequences of the past mistakes of mankind. You, you give the future to our generation. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Elena. Thank you. Now I'd like to call on Thomas McCarthy, friend and great charity supporter, Thomas McCarthy, Irish poet and novelist. Thank you. The birds cry. Between high water mark and low, early sun releases itself without permission. The long shadows make a house for me, or the child I always carry, a house of sand. Childhood, like the seashore, has no title. Everything is lost in time's arraignment, as every begetter knows. The faucet of the ocean is running its green water. This bath is prepared for the child I never became. Sandpipers cry, don't leave your eggs in another's nest. Here I walk on my own, like the gannet working up for a dive. I am never going home. It is the sea feels sorry for itself, not for me, as it speaks of personal immensities. Here, the drying sand and the wet part create a path through the heart. The ink trail that pain makes on the page is the blindness of a seabird going too deep. When I turn to walk back from history, I feel the chill of early morning on a manipulative face. Footprints on the sand are only me walking eastward again. The sea road changes and the sun gains confidence. Memory is upright in the sky. Let me permit the high dive the gannet makes, the passage made by Chernobyl, the birds cry. So we're delighted to have Kloysh and Fierschik here today, and I'd like to call Leah Nivrian and Quiver Nivrilon. Please to come forward as participation in our poetry ceremony. Thank you. I see. I see liquid is running a huge pile of rubble and carrying some nuclear fuel parts, graphite or metal parts with their hands, from one side of what has been the roof of a reactor hull to the other side trying to clean it up. They run for their lives for a very long 90 seconds. Then the next group is sent to clean out the rubble. I see the journalist Lubyov Kovarskia entering an evacuation bus in the nuclear workers city of Pripyat. Then I hear the thin voice she has as a consequence of her thyroid problems years later. I see 16-year-old Katia in Kiev, scared to death by a danger she can't see. She can't sense, getting on a train to escape the radiation. She has never moved back to Kiev. She explained that this is the sudden end of my childhood. I see Gorbachev on a TV screen after a terribly long 18 days of silence, explaining to the Soviet international public what happened at Chernobyl. I see water trucks washing the street, soldiers with gas masks, and I hear commands over megaphones, voices crying over Geiger counter sounds. I see old women carrying wooden buckets with fresh water from a well to their homes some 15 kilometers away from the nuclear reaction. I see thousands of candles at a morning celebration on Kiev's Independence Square. I see pale looking teenagers with worried big eyes at a child's therapy centre in Kiev, queuing up for a health check. I see hundreds of thousands of people like war refugees carrying all their valuables in their suitcases 
and hasty leaving their houses have passed behind. And today, we at Bishop Lucy Park remember you all. We will continue to strive in our efforts to make your world a better place. Thank you. Has day died, or is this the end of the world? Morbid, unpaid, pallid leaves, by now it's unimportant. Who's the fault? What's the reason? The sky is boiling only with crows. And now no sounds, no smells, and no more peace in this world. Here we loved, now eternal separation reigns on the burnt out earth. Thank you. And thank you so much again and to all in Cloyston and Fierce, and of course the teachers for coming here today and participating with us the 31st anniversary of the Chernobyl disaster. We have our ecumenical service next and I'd now like to call on for the Dermot Lynch. Thank you. As, 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 we, as we gather here now, all sisters and brothers, all playing, praying to one God in heaven, will we pray the prayer that Jesus himself gave us all together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The Reverend Ted Bardas from St. Finbar's Cathedral Wing. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Creator God, sovereign over all, we pray today for the world you have given us, remembering our misuse of it on this, the 31st anniversary of the beginning of the Chernobyl disaster. We hold your world in trust. Teach us to be wise stewards of creation. We have misused your precious gift to us of human ingenuity and nuclear power through arrogance and irresponsibility. Forgive the folly of our modern lifestyles, our search for personal wealth at the expense of one another and of our children and of your world. The fact that even though we have been repeatedly been warned of its costly consequences, we are reluctant to listen to the fruits of science and we are reluctant to change. We hold your world in trust. Teach us to be wise stewards of creation. We pray for victims of the Chernobyl disaster today, the land, the air, the water, the people and the animals of Belarus, Ukraine, Russia, of Europe, for those who will continue to, to, to die as a direct result. As responsible stewards of your creation and members of one another in the body of Christ, show us how we can help. We hold your world in trust. Teach us to be wise stewards of creation. We thank you for the ongoing progress in the work to finish by the end of this year the new safe confinement over the Ch Chernobyl site. We pray for a common purpose in the nations of the area and the nations of the world in working together for the common good. We pray for the things that build up life rather than destroy it. We hold your world in trust. Teach us to be wise stewards of creation. Creator God, hear our prayer through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, in whose crucified body we live and move and have our being. Amen. Thank you so much. And our friends from the Buddhist, um, I'd like to first call on, forgive my pronunciation please, um, the right abbot of Rajara, um, Achara, Douglas Sutton, uh, Dari Lee Temple from LA. Thank you. That was Vajrasharya Douglas and also Vajrasharya Mary, a local uh, esoteric Buddhist teacher. I'm happy to be here. 
brothers and sisters, remembering the Chernobyl disaster, and sending our love and compassion to all those who have suffered and continue to suffer. Whether one is of the Buddhist tradition, Christian tradition, or secular, we all value love and compassion. Obviously, we're here today. Let us, I hope, send more than just love and compassion, but actually do what is necessary to help the people who continue to suffer from the Chernobyl disaster. And I personally, not as a Buddhist monk, but as a person, hope that other um, non-nuclear technologies will be perfected and brought forward so that we don't have to come together to remember the next Chernobyl, the next Fukushima, whatever its name would be. Um, let that be. That will be my dream, and I hope um, that we will all make that a reality. Mary and I would like to chant a great compassion mantra nine times for, for the benefit and to remember all those who have suffered and continue to suffer because of Chernobyl disaster. Om Ashe Om Om Ani Baby Om Namo Redne Saya Namo Bhagavati Mahagurni Gaya Gya Sara Bharo Madane Dara Gadaya Adi Samya Sampadaya Dara Om Dara Dara Dedi Dedi Dodo Dodo Ai Jai Wai Jai Zale Zale Brzale Brzale Savagale Sasavagama Yo Arane Sade 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 Gyan Sabha Sade Sa Om Ashe Om Om Mani Bhimi Om Namo Redne Zaya Namo Bhanga Wadi Mahagrini Gai Niya Sara Bharo Mandane Dara Gadaya Adi Samya Sambudai Tarda Om Dara Dara Dari Dari Dudu Dudu Ai Ji Vi Ji Zale Zale Prasale Prasale Saogai Sasaogama Yawara Ne Sade 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 Gyanus Baba Sade Sa Om Ashe Om Om Mani Bhimi Om Namo Redne Saya Namo Bhangavari Mahagurni Gaya Diya Sara Guru Mandane Dara Gadaya Adi Samya Sambudaya Dara Om Dara Dara Dari Dari Duru Duru Ai Ji Vai Ji Zale Zale Prasale Prasale Saogale Sasaogama Yavara Ne Sade 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 Gyan Sabha Sade Sa Om Ashe Om Om Mani Bhimi Om Namo Rinne Jaya Namo Bhanga Wadi Mahagurni Gaya Viya Sara Puro Bhandane Dara Gadaya Adi Samya Sampadaya Dara Om Dara Dara Dari Dari Duru Duru Ai Ji Vai Ji Zale Zale Prasale Prasale Saogale Sasaogama Yara Ne Sade 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 Gyanus Baba Sade Sa Om Ashe Om Om Mani Bhimi Om Namo Rinne Saya Namo Bhanga Wadi Mahagurni Gaya Niya Sara Puro Madane Dara Gadaya Adi Samya Sambudaya Dara Om Dara Dara Dari Dari Duru Duru Ai Ji Vai Ji Zale Zale Prasale Prasale Saogale Sasaogama Yawara Ne Sade 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 Gyanus Baba Sade Sa Om Ashe Om Om Mani Bhimi Om Namo Rinne Jaya Namo Bhanga Wadi Mahagurni Gaya Niya Sara Puro Madane Dara Gadaya Adi Samya Sambudaya Dara Om Dara Dara Dari Dari Duru Duru Ai Ji Vai Ji Zale Zale Prasale Prasale Sawagale Sasawagama Yawara Ne Sade 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 Gyanus Baba Sade Sa Om Ashe Om Om Mani Bhimi Om 
namo rene jaya namo bhagavare magadi gaya kiya saro koro bandare darga daya adi samya sambhadaya tardo dara dara dere dere duru duru ai ji vi ji zale zale brusale brusale saugale su saugama yo vara ne sire 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 gara sabha se so Onga je on on mani baby on namo rene jaya namo bhagavare bhagavani hai bhi saro bolo madare darga dai aaje sanje sambhadai tardo dar dar dere dere duru duru ai je ve je sale sale bhi sale bhi sale sava kalesh sava gama ya vara ne sire 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 yaar sabha se so Thank you. So thank you again to Mary O'Connor and of course uh, Douglas Sutton for coming here today and our friends from the Buddhist uh, community. I'd like now to call on our friend, Georgia friend, uh, Dan Boyd. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Deputy Lord Mayor, Councillor Horrigan, uh, Your Excellency, the Russian Ambassador, Treasurer of Affairs, the Ukrainian Embassy. Um, uh, and those associated with the greater Chernobyl cause, friends. It's my, been my privilege to att have attended uh, every one of these commemor commemoration events since they began, with the exception of last year, and last year being a very significant anniversary. But every anniversary is a significant anniversary. Every year we should take the opportunity, and at every occasion we should take the opportunity of never forgetting uh, and always remembering. There are, however, uh, a number of significant events that we should also think about at this time. Sixty years ago this year, there was a leak at a nuclear processing plant at what was then called Windscale, uh, now called Sellafield, uh, on the northwest coast of England. That was a leak that was kept secret for many, many years and resulted in thousands of incidences of cancer in this island alone. That resulted uh, in many, many unnecessary deaths. Forty years ago next year will be the anniversary of the most serious nuclear incident in the United States at Three Mile Island. Six years ago, we remember the last major incident that occurred in Fukushima in Japan. In not being able to attend last year, I tried to have my own way of remembering the event. I was working in Wales and I chose to take a day trip to the west coast of England in Somerset to visit the Hinkley B nuclear plant, which is the nearest nuclear plant to Cork City. It's a similar distance to what Chernobyl has been to Belarus, where most of the serious effects were felt in 1986. Hinkley B is a plant that is being decommissioned, but the British government has a plan to build a new nuclear facility on the same site. And the difference between the original first generation of nuclear plants in the 1950s and 1960s and those being built now is there has been the changed attitude of what's called burden sharing. Instead of facilities that are owned by the state and owned by one owner, we will have, and hopefully not, Hinkley B, a plant that is being used uh, by the UK state, is owned by a French energy company and a 